channel. Today I will be showing you how to make homemade garden cloches. So here I have started growing sunflowers from seeds. I had originally probably 10 that started to grow. I planted five in the garden and the next day they were all dug up and eaten. Um, mostly my fault. I only put like a plastic covering on it um, to stop it from getting damage from the rain, but it didn't stop any of the critters going in to eat them. So today I need to make a cloche to put over these sunflowers. What I use for cloches are the wire framing of a lampshade. You can get, use any lampshades that you have at home, or um, we got these from Goodwill, probably two to three dollars. They run pretty cheap. And then the next thing you need is some chicken wire. And so we got this from Home Depot. And chicken wire can be, you can get it in different like, sizes, whole sizes. This one's pretty big. But it's really pliable, which is what we want. So there are different ways to make your cloches. You can have um, you can have just the side being covered um, for land animals like um, rabbits or chipmunks or, or animals like that, or you can have the sides and the top for to keep away butterflies or birds or um, squirrels. Here is a, another thing of chicken wire that we use. So it's the the holes are a lot smaller than this one. See. So you just have to keep in mind what type of animal or insect that you're trying to keep out. Today, um, I since they are sunflowers, I'm only trying to keep out some bigger animals, so I will be fine using um, larger insects. I start by securing the chicken wire on the bottom. I just take a little bit of the edge and just wrap it around. And I'm gonna use utility gloves because it is quite sharp. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free. Without a care in the world, I was one So once I am done folding it over the bottom, I take my wire cutters and I cut a cell above the top of the lampshade. That way I, I will have enough chicken wire to bend over the top as well. In a gown and a crown, barefoot. Here I am trying to stretch the chicken wire so that it fully overlaps each end, but um, once I started to fold over the top of it like I did on the bottom, I actually ended up with a lot of overlap. And then to secure the ends together, I just kind of maneuvered it and folded over the ends of the chicken wire onto each other. One thing I do want to mention is that the lampshades that you pick out should have the vertical supports because the lampshades without those are a lot harder to work with to make a cloche. When I insert my cloches, I like to make a little ring so that they sit in it so that it's not easy for animals to dig under. The cloche I just made, um, this kind of chicken wire is probably a lot more difficult to deal with than, say, this, the smaller chicken wire, and that's one because um, 
it has like this coating on it. It makes it a lot easier to just handle. Um, with this one, I do like to wear those utility gloves just so that I don't get pricked as much. I wanted to go through some of the questions that I've already made. This one we use on a cabbage. We've tried different tops. This is an old um, outdoor grilling pan top. We just enclosed it with the thickness of the chicken wire so that it, it can't come out. This is one that I made for my arugula so that rabbits and chipmunks don't eat it and it is working fabulously so far. Here's another one for a cabbage. The top we just bunched it together and it's held together just by a piece of wire. You could probably use um, twine or anything that you feel like. And then this is another one that we use for the, the cabbage, which this one has been getting eaten a lot. A lot of cabbage white caterpillars are able to get through it. So my mom got it from Home Depot and repurposed it as cloche. Um, but it probably would have better use on a different type of vegetable other than cabbage because it does tend to get eaten a lot. You can also use a whole bunch of other items, repurpose a bunch of items for enclosures such as wire trash bins, the mini trash bins. There's also another wire trash bin that had a metal bottom and you could just cut that off and put whatever top on you want if you need the top at all. Um, you could also make it out of mesh. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can make cloches. So these are just the ways that we make our cloches. Um, we probably started making our own cloches probably last year, so we're still learning um, which cloches work best for which vegetables and which materials to use. So if you guys make your own cloches and, or have any suggestions on different ways that we could improve ours, um, I'd be happy to hear them. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you, and have a nice I almost forgot about this cloche, so we have our strawberries right here, but they kept getting eaten by something, so we made this cloche, again, the small chicken wire, um, and we put it inside of an embroidery hoop. It's pliable how high we want it to make. We want to make it, and it has worked Famously, we have had so many strawberries actually go ripe because of this cloche. And now we have homemade strawberries that I can now pick.